This video is sponsored by Hetzner. In this video, I will guide you to set up automated backups for Coolify, which will back up the Coolify database and upload it to Hetzner Object Storage. Keep in mind that this only backups the Coolify database. There are two types of backups on Coolify, local backups and S3 storage backups. Local backups are stored on the server where Coolify is running on. S3 storage backups are stored on the S3 compatible storage you connect to Coolify. Coolify supports most of the S3 providers like AWS S3, Cloudflare R2, and many others. In recent videos, I showed how to set up Cloudflare R2 and AWS S3. In this one, I'll show you how to set up Hetzner Object Storage. Hetzner offers a lot of services like VPS, dedicated servers, load balancers, and object storage. Their object storage pricing is incredibly affordable. For example, 100 terabytes of storage with 100 terabytes of transfer will cost about $700 a month on Hetzner. Compare that to AWS, where the same would cost over $10,000 a month. That's more than 14 times costlier than Hetzner. That's one of the reasons I reached out to Hetzner, and they're kindly sponsoring this video by covering the cost of the object storage I'm using in this tutorial, so I can keep making free tutorials like this. If you're looking for a reliable and affordable cloud provider, check out Hetzner by using the link aeroflare.com slash Hetzner. On Coolify dashboard, click on the S3 storage option on the sidebar, then click on the add button. Here we need few data like endpoint, access key, and more values. First, give this storage a name. I will name it as YouTube tutorial. Then I will go to my Hetzner dashboard and create a bucket. On the Hetzner dashboard, click on the object storage option on the sidebar. Click the Create Bucket button. Select a location where you want the bucket to be in, then give your bucket a name. Set Object Lock to Disabled and set Visibility to Private. Click the Create and Buy Now button. Now the bucket is created, so click on the bucket name to view the bucket. This is the bucket name, and this is the endpoint for our bucket, so click on it to copy to the clipboard and paste it on Coolify. Make sure to add the HTTPS protocol at the beginning of the endpoint URL. Region is not needed for Hetzner object storage, so leave it as it is. Now we need access key and secret key for our bucket, which we have to create from Hetzner dashboard. Click on this Manage Credentials button. This will take you to the S3 Credentials page on dashboard. This page is on the security page on the sidebar. Click on Generate Credentials button, then enter a description for the credentials. This is for you to know what this credentials are for, so I will give the description as tutorial video and click the Generate Credentials. Now we have our access key and secret key, so copy and paste them to Coolify. These keys works for all the buckets you have on the Hetzner project, so if you create a new bucket, then you can reuse the same keys if you want. Now we have all the details we need to set up this S3 storage, so click on this button. Now click the Settings option from the sidebar and click on Backup. If this is your first time visiting this page, then it will show you a button called Enable Backups. Clicking that button will show you this page. Here we have to enable Backup and S3, then select the storage we just set up. The backup is just a cron job, so you can control how often this backup runs. Backup retention are how many backups are stored. Local means the backup on your server, and S3 means the backup on your Hetzner S3 bucket. You can control how many backups are stored either by number of days or total number of backups, also, you can set a maximum storage limit. Coolify will delete older backups and stores new one, so if one of these conditions are met, then a very old backup will be deleted and new backup is stored. Here you will see the backup executions. I don't have any executions yet, but you will see if you have any backups. If I click on Backup Now button, then you will see Coolify did a backup and stored it locally and on my Hetzner S3 bucket. Setting up backup for other storage provider is not very different than this. The only part that differs is getting the endpoints and access keys. That's it for this video. A huge thanks to Hetzner for sponsoring this video. If you have made it to this far on the video, then check out Hetzner using the links in the description. It helps the channel a lot.